Okay, you guys, so I have my breakfast here. I'm gonna eat that. I made me some coffee. I'm going to sit here and finish out the rest of my um, shopping list. These are some of the things that I need to pick up as far as household supplies. I'm going to sit here and um, do my list. And then I'm also going to um, go ahead and look at my financial planner and see um, what bills um, I've paid so far. I think I've paid everything just about um, for right now. Um, but yeah, I really need to sit down and just take a look at my budget. I'm trying to track my spending and, um, just really be mindful of what I'm spending and just try not to buy unnecessary things. I've renewed my, um, Sam's Club membership, um, just so I could take advantage of the free gas, I mean, of the cheap gas prices, because here, um, our gas at Sam's Club is 309 and I filled up my car my suv for 40 dollars and that was so that felt so good you know i know a lot of places it's like 349 but at our sam's clubs it's 309 and so i actually filled up my car for 40 bucks i went if you want a sam's club membership and you don't want to pay you can't you don't want to pay the full 45 just do what i did i went half with my oldest son because he you know he used to work at sam's club for a short while and so I was like, hey, do you want to um, go half on a Sam's Club? I'll pay 25 and you pay, you know, 20. He's like, heck yeah. He was like, their gas is cheap. I wouldn't mind getting one. So if you want to do a Sam's Club or a Costco membership, see if there's someone who's willing to go half with you on the membership. That way you get a card. I know with Costco, you only get one card, but with Sam's Club, you get two. So just see if there's someone that may be willing to go half on a card with you. You know, you pay 25, they pay 20. That's better than paying 45 altogether. And my son will actually use the card because he'll stop and get gas. Or I, I may go in for snacks and things like that for Devin, but otherwise I mostly use it for gas. I decided to stop by Walmart before I ran to go get my Target pickup order. And I don't know why it did not cross my mind, but this is the weekend before Austin goes back to school. And Walmart was a hot freaking mess. There were people everywhere. Um, there were um, there was stuff everywhere. And I wanted to stop in to see, um, to get me some press-on nails because they usually have a cute selection of press-on nails. And I should have just stopped by HEB because everything was in shambles everything was in disarray you know nothing was organized as you can tell here like our walmart is a hot freaking mess because we don't have a lot of walmarts here so it's like as you can tell like there is stuff everywhere like nothing is organized there's things on the floor i mean people have stealing stuff people are stealing like lashes and the beauty section was just in shambles like it's a hot it was so ghetto that's why i love going to target but it's also a different vibe of people at target but yeah walmart was a hot freaking mess their beauty section and personal care section i'm pretty sure people a lot of this stuff has been stolen and there was just not a good selection and if you found something you like you had no clue how much it was because it definitely was not in the right spot target i'm going to unpack um and show you guys what i purchased i had two pickup orders at two two different targets and i had one item shipped because um 
it was out it was just some deodorant that i wanted but i forgot to pick a backup item so they're gonna ship it i know it's a waste but i didn't feel like waiting for the whole refund thing then just to rebuy it so i just had them to ship it but right now i just ordered me some rudy's i went to stop by and got me some rudy's if you've never been to texas i don't know if it's just in austin or wherever uh, all around texas but i stopped and got some rudy's barbecue because i've been craving barbecue i didn't get to get any when i got went home because my friend he didn't he didn't barbecue while i was home so i'm about to eat some barbecue then i will um unbag my target haul and then i'll show you guys what it is in just a minute okay so if you've never been to rudy's before one thing about them if you is you have to buy everything separate there aren't really any meals if you want like plates or anything like that so i got a half a bird um a half a sausage and some beans and some potato salad and then they give you slices of bread because you know i like bread with my um with my meat and then i got some onions on the side i don't know why i just like eating onions with my barbecue because i'm a addicted to onions so i'm gonna eat right quick and then i will um do a target haul for you guys outside in the amg right outside tt two turn baby girl you know me still with the dolls that i grew beside all the niggas brown you guys this is everything i picked up from my target haul i'm just gonna give you guys a quick um overview of everything i bought um i got some birds i uh tri-colored onion and pepper and onion melody um i usually get it from amazon um fresh orders but i was running low so i just decided to pick it up at um target because i like these for fajitas and my baked chicken is already cut up it's just as good as the fresh. Throw it in the skillet, throw it in the oven, whatever you want to do with it, and it works just fine. I picked up Devin two. Um, he asked for some Gatorade. So I picked him up two of these big things. I got us some um, some Market Pantry uh, Fruit Punch and Strawberry Lemonade Drink Mix. I was running low on cleaner, so I picked up this all-purpose cleaner and this bleach spray for my bathroom towel um i got some aussie's miracle more shampoo because i'm out of shampoo um i forgot to get alfredo sauce um yesterday at aldi so i picked this up these two things i got from walmart this is just some um la colors um nail polish in the color hyper hyperactive I really like this color. It's for Scream Summer, so I picked that up. I'm going to do my nails probably um, tonight or tomorrow just to do a little self-care routine. So be on the lookout for that. I picked up some Clorox floor wipes. I'm not completely out, but I am running low. Um, I picked up this tank top. I wanted another white tank top, so I picked this one up um it was only five dollars so i picked this one up it's just a white tank basic white tank top i don't know why i'm addicted to white shirts at this moment um next i got Devin some um suave body wash um that's for him and i wanted to try this uh tree hut vitamin c scrub um yeah it, for brighter looking skin i wanted to add this to my self-care sunday routine so um i'm gonna try that and let you guys know how it works i got some squeezable um done dish soap i was running low on vinegar because i like to um, clean my strawberries with these um just picked up a couple of the up and up no the smartly uh liquid hand soaps I also picked up Smartly Facial Cleaning Wipes. These were only $2 compared to the Neutrogena wipe. So they had a lot of good reviews. Um, next, I picked up some more alcohol-free mouthwash from the Up and Up brand. 
also from the up and up brand i've picked up some disinfectant wipes to keep in my bathroom because i was out um i got this saint ives pink lemonade and mandarin orange um exfoliating body body wash i do like saint ives saint ives body wash it's really good quality for $3.99 if you haven't tried it i would would definitely recommend to try it out um, I got some Goya adobo all-purpose seasoning. Um, my brother had this at his house, and it smelled so good. So I wanted to try it out um, on, like, um, my chicken and stuff like that, burgers and stuff like that. So I'll let you guys know if you don't already know. I've never had it before, but I do want to try it out. I got a two-pack of Crest toothpaste. I picked up this hair mask. I need to wash my hair um, badly because it stinks. <laughs> to me, it stinks. Um, I picked up these deep cleansing pink clay mud mask mask. I haven't had a mud mask in a while because I'm out of my collie skin. Um, charcoal mask, and I just hadn't been um, at home or had time to buy it. So I picked up two of these for $1.99. I wasn't expecting this thing to be little. I figured it would be, but this is just some vitamin C syrup. I use serum, sorry, vitamin C serum. I usually get it from HEB for $4.97, but I ended up getting it from Target because I didn't want to make an extra stop. So I'll let you guys know how this is. It was $4.97. I picked up some extra shaving cream. This has good reviews on the Target website as well. I wanted some black plates, but they didn't really have any that I liked in stock. So I just picked these up. They were 50 cent each. I got four. Um, some more cotton rounds. Um, I got some toner. Some up and up toner. I usually get um, the e.l.f. toner, but it doesn't last long. As you can tell, this bottle is really small. Um, I'm in love with this e.l.f. Per Skin Cleanser and Toner. But um, I just picked up the cleanser and got this toner because um, I didn't want to pay eight, another $9 for the toner. And it doesn't last me that long because I use toner faithfully morning and night. And they need to make this bottle bigger. Elf, you need to make this bottle a little bit bigger for $9. I was out of mustard. I got Devin some fruit by the foot. And he wanted some funnables fruit snacks and lastly i picked him up some flaming hot cheetos okay it's a little bit later in the evening i'm going to go ahead and put on these kiss gel fantasy nails um, i'm just going to give you guys a brief um overview on how i apply my um press on nails just so you guys can see if you want to start using press on nail nails it's pretty easy um to do and it saves money and it saves time from you sitting in the nail shop for you know if you don't have time to sit in the nail shop like i do um i work from nine to six so you, monday through friday most times and i may get off a little bit early but that just depends on the schedule so i find that press on nails are pretty convenient for me because i don't have to sit in the nail shop to get them taken off or put on like that and if i want to take them off at home i can do that as well this pack of press on nails comes with the standard um nails 24 pack of nails you get nail glue um, you also get a fingernail file and a cuticle pusher the first thing i like to do before i soak my hands in warm soapy water is i like to go ahead and fit my nails to the nail bed that's just a process that i find that takes the longest so i like to go ahead and do that first and then i'll soak my hands just to soften up my cuticles that way um, i can get a better fit of how the nails will fit in my nail bed This process is usually hit or miss. It may take me a few tries before I can actually get the fit correctly. I just try to make sure it covers my entire nail bed and there's no um, pieces of my real nail hanging out. Sometimes you can't avoid it. Sometimes the nails just don't fit 100%, but that's okay. No one should be that close up on your nails anyway to notice.
Now that I have all my nails picked out and I have set them to the side, I'm going to go ahead and soak my hands for about 10 minutes just to soften up my cuticles. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start applying the nails. So how I apply my nails is I take my uh, nail file and I rough my nail bed up just a little bit um, to get that kind of rough texture to make the um, nail glue adhere better. And then I also like to take the fingernail file and kind of rough up the back of the nail as well. Then I'll take a drop of glue, put a drop of glue on my nail bed, and then on the back of the nail itself, I'll press it on from the nail bed upwards. That way it gets rid of any air bubbles. And then I will hold it for about 10 seconds each nail. Okay, the last and final step that I like to do after I apply my Presto nails, um, I like to go ahead with some uh, UV uh, top coat um, just to and base coat just to kind of make the nails hard. Um, as you know, with long Presto nails, they're not very, um, a lot of them bend at the tips when you're trying to do something like type because I type a lot on my job. So I need that extra layer of hardness to keep them from bending at the tips. So I use this Emily um, no wipe base coat and top coat that I got from Amazon. I will link that down below. I do love it. So the first thing I do is just apply the base coat. Be careful with the base coat because it's really sticky. And if you don't apply it evenly, um, once you apply the top coat, um, it's gonna be really clunky and chunky. So make sure you get a smooth finish whenever you're applying the base coat and the top coat because once it dries, if it's not smooth, it's gonna dry exactly the way that it is on your nails. So I do the base coat first, each hand, and I let it cure for about 90 seconds. And then I add the, um, once that's done, I go ahead and I do the, no wipe top coat and i let that cure for about 90 seconds as well all right you guys uh here is an update on how the nails turned out i really do like them um i do not have any cuticle oil but once you're done um applying the nails make sure you have some type of cuticle oils to kind of oil your na nail bed a little bit i was out so i did the next best thing i used baby oil but I really do like these. These were only um, $7 at Walmart. I'll probably get these again, but if you like um, press on nails, you can also order them from the Etsy shop as well, or Shein. Those are good places to find press on nails. And also Five Below has a cute selection of nails as well. Um, they don't hold up like the kiss nails, but if you do that technique that I showed you guys, um, about you know the curing the nails they will get hard on you now they are gonna pop off I mean that's just the nature of the beast they don't have acrylic on them or anything like that or gel you know the, the hard gel so they are gonna pop off but that's the good thing about having a 24 pack um, you could just if you one pops off you can just put it back on and get a new one